Hi folks, Dr. Byer here. Uh, I'm sending you this video just for a few minutes. I want you to understand, uh, I'm gonna explain something to you about called the MTHFR genetic defect. This is a gene defect that I'm seeing showing up in more and more of my patients that I wanna to explain to you and how it pertains to any chronic illness. B, here's the point that I wanna make, like three or four points you need to understand. B vitamins are involved in over 250 biochemical processes in the body, especially when it comes to energy production in the mitochondria in your cells, growth and repair. Like teenagers need more B vitamins than a 40 year old. But then when our bodies break down in our 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s, then they repair or if you have an injury, you need more B vitamins. Our immune system function is absolutely dependent on B vitamins and production of neurotransmitters, especially serotonin, which is, which is the neurotransmitter that makes us happy and allows us to sleep, and dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that allows us to be motivated and our get up and go and our pleasure uh, hormone, all are heavily dependent on B vitamins, but there's over 250 biochemical processes that involve, that are dependent on B vitamins. Now here's something that a lot of people don't really understand, that they don't know. B vitamins have to get activated in the body. When you eat your B vitamins, they are inactive, or when you take them a supplement, they are inactive. They get activated in the body by way of an enzyme called MTHFR, methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. Let's just call it MTHFR. That's what activates these B vitamins. The genes that allow us to make this MTHFR enzyme to activate our B vitamins are called C677T and A1298C. For, we have over 1,500 enzymes in our body, all for different reasons. And for each enzyme that you have, you'll have a couple genes or one gene that's encoded to make that enzyme. These are the genes that you need to make the MTHFR en uh, enzyme in order to activate our B vitamins so that we can make energy, make neurotransmitters, have a good immune system, and have cellular repair and growth. 30% of our population has various polymorphisms Fancy word, but it just means defects. And these genes reducing the capacity to activate your B vitamins anywhere from 10 to 70%. And I'm testing all my patients now with this, and we're amazed at how many of our patients have it. So we check for this genetic defect. We can now test for these various defects in the MTHFR genes, and more importantly, there's a solution. We now have a company called Neurobiologics that makes your B vitamins already activated. So I wanted to share this with you on this video because it's so important. If you have not been able to find a solution to your fatigue, to your depression, um, to your inability to focus, not enjoying life, to if your autoimmune condition or immune system problem, or if you're cr constantly getting sick and you're, you're breaking down, this is something that needs to be looked in because once we identified, there's a solution to it. So I wanted to get this out to you and share it with you. Hope you have a great day.